Did you know that for this movie, Tom Cruise was actually one of the first people to get to see this movie. He screened it from his home in Beverly Hills, and Tom Cruise ended up loving the movie so much that he called up the director and congratulated him. So this movie was actually pretty decent. All legal problems aside with Ezra Miller, I think he did a good job in the movie. I actually found this movie to be quite enjoyable. Very comical at times, but very emotional too. A lot of emotion built into the storyline in this movie. A lot of nostalgia as well. But I did have some problems with the movie, but I will tell you what those are at the end of the review. A good strong point of the movie was the storyline. Barry wants to go back in the past and fix everything. Thing, keep his mother alive and keep his father out of prison but he soon finds out that he's made a big mistake and now he's trying to fix the huge mistake that he's made it's all sorts of craziness and it can get a little complicated at times but the concept of time travel in this movie is kind of creative and it's kind of cool how they showed how time travel works it made for a pretty creative and just immersive movie overall because you never knew what was going to happen there was just so many like life lessons in this movie too talking about the past and how you can't change the past and bruce wayne actually had some really wise things to say about how the past makes you what you are the scars you have from living make you what you are and he he warned barry that maybe some things aren't meant to be changed and the whole movie follows that it leads up and builds up to a lot of emotional moments in the movie one of the biggest reasons i wanted to see this movie was because michael keaton's batman was in this movie he was gonna have a lot of great scenes in this movie and he looks great i mean everything about it was just perfect he brought back some of his old lines from the Batman movies. Lots of great action and just brought back a lot of nostalgia, not just for me, but for so many people who remember when Michael Keaton was the original Batman, the guy who started all the Batman movies off. I like that the plot of this movie allowed really cool characters to be brought back. Specifically, General Zod, I always loved his character outside his character was a very he's a very formidable foe it was really awesome seeing him back but he was definitely unchained this time he he was always just a really goal-oriented guy but he's just a savage in this movie there's some really cool cameos in this movie they're just pulling from all over the place in this movie that's all i'll say because i can because i'll be spoiling some things but how they use cameos in this movie just was really really well done and this made the movie so much more enjoyable there are a couple problems i had with this movie number one there was one cameo in specific, I won't say who it is because it will spoil something, but I thought it was a very poor decision for a cameo, it was actually quite a big letdown. The post credit scene was also a huge letdown, it was it was so stupid, it had nothing more to offer us, I thought it would be something, I thought it would be a cool post credit scene to tie into the future of the DCEU and it, it was just a complete waste of my time. Other than that, I still really enjoy this movie, I highly recommend you take your friends and your family. Go check this movie out. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope, for you. Just like it was for me. So for The Flash, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mud flaps. And remember, leave me a thumbs up. And drop in the comments below who's your favorite Flash. See you next time.